show you uh, how you can create uh, APIs in the AWS API Gateway. So first you have to log in into uh, AWS console. So after you uh, log in, then you can basically I have it already open, but what you can do is you type API gateway or API, you will see in the list API gateway. So click on that. Once you are done, then you will be able to create an API gateway here. So you can say create API. So let me create one test API for you. You can import the file if you have it already. If no, then you can create a new one. Okay. And uh, we are going to create a REST API for now. And uh, I will do a build for this. And you can see the couple of options over here, right? So if you see this, develop a REST API when you gain complete control over the uh, request response along with the API management capabilities. And here you have a create a REST API that is only accessible within a VPC. Okay. So you, if you want to have access within a VPC, then you should use this. But if you want a better uh, management with the uh, uh, access outside, you have to access outside the VPC, then you have to use this option. So here we are going to build it. I'll create one test one for you. So this is the REST API. It should be a new API for me. And get a GTS test API gateway. It is regional and then I can create. So once you have created this, then afterwards you have to create the resources here. Okay. And how we created the resources is first thing is you have to uh, open uh, your um, API controller file. So uh, let me open clips. So in the controller file, you will have all the API definitions. So from there, whatever path is mentioned you have to follow that path and you have to create it okay sir so one sample i'll create for you Let me start uh, Postman also to test our API. And before that, you need one more thing. You have to make sure that your database is also running. So I will check my GD is running or not. In another tab. So database is created in a centralized position as well for our application. So, for that you have to go to RDS, okay, and inside RDS,
Okay, then you have to go to databases. And here is my database. Okay, so uh, right now it is in uh, stop, stopped mode. So I will start it. And this is a free version, so I will stop it because if it process 750 hours, then it will be chargeable. Okay. So you have to make sure that you uh, stop it if you are not using it. So I start it, it let it start parallelly. Now I will go to the API and also I will open the identity service API and go to the controller. Okay, and then we go to this. So let's say I have a user controller. So this is the path for your uh, default uh, endpoint, right? API v1 user. So I'll create them API v1 and user. So here I'll go to action, then it is a resource, right? API v1, each one of them is called resource. So I'll create a resource called API first. Okay. So I say type API here, and you have to use this one enable API gateway course. Okay. This is used so that it can be called from the browser also. So I will give you more session what is cost and all in detail you will come to know you can explore as well in Google. So I create it. So now it has come API. Now after API what we have v1 and then user. So I will create v1. Go to this create resource. Again I say v1. Select course and create. Next one is user. Okay. Go there. I will say create resource. Then user course and create. Okay. Now to create a user, okay, you need a post method, right? So now we'll see what are the methods are there and what are the extra endpoints are there. So post method is there by email. Okay, so I have to create one more email resource under user. So let's create that. So I have user, then on top of that again, I have a post method called email. One more resource email and create this. Okay. The next is this method. What is the method? It is a post method. So I have to create a method now, post on top of email. So I go there. I have email. Options method are coming by default here. And now I am going to create a email method. I, sorry, post method under email. So this is a post method. I click on this tick mark. This is come. Okay. Now here you have to uh, enable the lambda function. Okay. So this is the lambda function I select. I say user lambda proxy integration. I select uh, region you select as uh, AP South 1 and then I will select the lambda function identity set. I will show you how to create the lambda function also in the service and save it. So now my post method is ready. So once you have created all the resources, all the methods, then next step is to uh, deploy it. So you have to go to action again and then say deploy API. So I say deploy API and I have to create a stage if you don't have it. So for now I'll create a stage called 
dev okay dev stage and say deploy okay so once are done now you will get your this uh, invoke url path or host okay so this is the host you need to use instead of your local host colon port number so we in in your uh, postman right you are using local host colon so here uh, in your local you see here the format localhost colon 4728 right and remaining thing is your resource which you have created right so we are going to replace only this part with the endpoint which i get in aws so i had it created before so previously i had different one now i am going to replace it with the new one which i created done okay and then i will say send So it is making a call to the dead uh, URL. So initially you will see that it will give a timeout error because the uh, Lambda function is not started yet. It takes some time. And since we are using a free version in development, it will take some time. But when we go, go to production, we will be subscribing for it and it will be very fast. So let this happen. Okay. While I will show you how you go create a Lambda function. So you have to uh, you can open one more tab to go to your lambda so what you have to type here to search as lambda l a m b d a then lambda comes here Okay, and uh, then you can create the lambda function like this. I have created all the functions for you, so you can just search it and get it. But for you, I will show you one by creating. So I'm creating lambda function. So I'm saying author from the scratch. Okay, lambda function name I will give uh, my test lambda function. Okay and uh, runtime environment is java so i am going to select java 1.8 java 8 we are going to select okay and uh, for, for change default your role you don't have to do it will create a role automatically for you you can uh, use the advanced setting if you want for code signing network vpc etc but for now we are all using all default so you don't have to select anything on those then you say create function uh, let it create or oh, now see uh, it's giving time out because the function it takes some time to bring up the server so i will say send once again so you see it says email exists already so that means my api is working perfectly right so let's say i will give some uh, different id hmm. so yes, at the rate of so any problem. issues there is no issue, no? See, it is already there in our database. Did you get it? So, it is there. That is why it is showing it exists. So, now I will say this and see it is created successfully. So, my Lambda function is working perfectly. So I showed you how to create the API gateway, how to create the resources and APIs. Okay, now I'm helping you to know how you can create the Lambda function. So you click on create and then I get this window. Then here you say upload uh, form. So here you have to click and uh, be, you have to upload that zip file. Okay, so either you can upload dot zip file directly or through Amazon S3 location. Okay. We don't do it directly because it does not allow for a bigger file. So what we have to do it, we have to upload it first in the S3 bucket. So for that again, you have to go to S3. We have created the S3 bucket already. So 
so uh, that is also simpler process but i am not going to show it how you create it hello sir uh, that will be simpler how you get created and for now uh, i'll show you directly how you can upload it okay so uh, this one i have two bucket one is uh, gts microservices bucket and for development one for prod so i'll go to uh, development bucket uh, you all are able to hear me right guys okay. yes we can hear you okay so we are here um, now uh, here what you have to do is you have to upload that zip file okay so upload no, we can't see anything sir yeah we can't see your screen you are not able to see the screen is it okay let me share no, no sir you are not sharing is it from the starting or you are not able to see now only for uh, two minutes sir we are not able to see okay fine so i uh, share again so you can watch the video i am recording so that will be helpful if you are not able to understand something you can so now in the uh, s3 i am going to add the zip file so i have this zip here i will add it and then i will select and then say upload so this is getting upload so it may take uh, sometimes it will take few minutes but right now i see it is very fast so let's see it will once it is uploaded then i will use that link to use in my lambda function so one good thing is api was working perfectly so you should be able to create yourself uh, the resources and do it and lambda function i am creating now i have to attach the uh, amazon s3 link here so this is ready and this is my uh, i think i added a wrong uh, wrong zip file i think hold on i added a wrong zip file but yeah still i can uh, so you will create the you know uh, upload it like this and then you will get the path when you click on the file right you will get the path like this and you can copy that path uh, from here you have to copy this path like object url okay this object url path you have to copy hmm. but for me i by mistake i uploaded a different uh, jar file actually i should have uploaded the identity jar which is already there in my case so i will show you uh, if i go there in my bucket and uh, i search by identity okay so that should be there somewhere um, this identity yeah see here it is already there so i will take that path for my identity and copy this object url and copy from this or you can just click here it will be copied then i will go to uh, s3 bucket i will paste it and then save it this is done this is one thing and another thing is next is the runtime setting this is java 8 and handler is there right so your handler should look like this i will give you one more example which we, i have already so for identity service let's say identity service if you see here first you have the package name com.gts.user and then the lambda 
file so if you go to your eclipse what you have to do is you have that uh, lambda class from there you have to pick the path and the file name so if you see here I have gts identity service lambda so this is your path com dot gts dot users and then the file name okay so that is what i have here if you look at i have the file path and then you have the class name okay so this one you need to uh, type for the one which you are creating so you need to edit this and uh, then you change this path here so that your lambda function will be ready and this is the lambda function which we used when we created the method so in post method you remember i selected that lambda method so you can go back you can watch the video once again create it and then you get the link from the stages so in the stages if you go then click on the dev stage and then from there you should be able to get this path and then put it in your uh, you know uh, postman and then check whether your apis are working or not okay so what you have to do now is uh, i showed you one right for identity service now for all remaining uh, path whatever you have this is for email post method what is the next one contact number post method then you will create the next one this is get without anything means it is by default so that is a get on top of direct user which will give you all users so like that you have to create all and then it, it create one one and test that they are working uh, from the postman so do you have any question any question guys no sir okay so good i will uh, uh, you know uh, share this video uh, once it is uh, processed and uploaded in youtube but for now you can try yourself and then uh, try yourself in your account until i give you a account access and then you can uh, do it so for the microservice which you have access already for that you create the zip file and try to do yourself and afterwards when i give access to our company account then you can do it from the company account function okay, okay. great so um, thank you Thank you sir. Okay, thank you. Uh hi everyone. So now I am going to uh, tell you about our internship program quickly and uh, people who are doing their final year of your graduation or uh, if you are already graduated and looking for internship program you can join this as well as people who are working on uh, different fields other than it and you want to come to it uh, you can join as well as people who are it but in different fields and you want to change your field from development to qa or qa to development or any of the options which i will take you through you can join and this is completely free of cost you don't have to pay anything for this and uh, there will be a small evaluation process of one or two weeks if you perform well or prove yourself with a uh, expert then you can get a job within our company also so what you have to do is go to our website in goraitech.com and then visit to career option here you will find all the different positions or uh, options for the internship so if you want to become mobile app developer then choose this right now we are uh, developing based on android uh, very soon we will be doing for ios also and then you can go for ui developers if you want to go for web development and you want to build your skills with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and uh, React JS. So React JS will be the core skills here. If you want to become a Java developer and uh, want to go for server-side program, go with Spring Boot, microservice, Java, etc. Take this option. If you want to 
become a DevOps person, want to play with cloud computing, where we uh, give you good knowledge and experiences with AWS, Azure, GCP, along with Docker, Kubernetes, Swarm, uh, Terraform, Ansible, etc. If you want to become a business analyst or product owner, go for this option. You will be getting a very real-time experience with us in this training. You can go for uh, this option where you can become a HR or recruiter. So all the techniques for the recruiter will be taught to you. And if you want to become a QA specialist or QA engineer, go for this option. Here you will be learning manual testing as well as test automation with Selenium, Karate, Postman, etc. If you want to become a Scrum Master, then go for this option. Here you will be uh, learning all agile processes, uh, Scrum uh, techniques, how you interact with people, how you lead people, all, all kind of uh, knowledges and practices you can do in this uh, internship. And this internship will be for three months minimum where uh, you need to uh, spend uh, eight hours per day from Monday to uh, Friday and people who are busy with some other work and uh, you can uh, you know, spend minimum four hours of time per day you can do that all as well but in that case you have to do it for six months so uh, if you are uh, able to do it six months for four hours then also you will get a certificate from us with a uh, uh, experience and uh, after your completion of this program you will be evaluated again and if your performance is being good then you may get a job within our company itself and in case if you are not getting a job you can continue learning and uh, when you get job in other place you can you know, get the experience certificate as long you are with us and uh, you don't have to pay any fees for this you don't have to pay any charges it is completely free of cost and uh, to do this you need a good internet connection and also a good laptop so that's all and uh, if you are really interested then uh, you can send a whatsapp message in the number 9739403914 I repeat the number 9739403914. You can send email with your resume to hr.gts at ggtech.co.in as well. So thank you and uh, I uh, wish to see you soon.